Hi everyone, what's up? And today we're looking at a new North called Release. Today we're looking at the brand new uh, Southern Vectis Alexander Dennis E400 MMC. And as you can probably tell, or you might not be able to tell, I'm slightly ill today, so my voice is not going to sound as normal. However, hopefully the review will be okay. Let's get into it. So it comes in the standard uh, clear acetate display case uh, with one of a thousand and eight pieces, uh, pretty much all standard, um, nothing special to note here. Taking a first look at the model, uh, it's a beautiful livery, to say the least. Um, I really like the shade of green they've used. Um, I assume it's accurate. Um, and I like the livery actually itself. So yeah, really nice presentation. The front lights have been done really nicely, uh, as have the front destination. Uh, it's really clear, um, really nicely positioned. Um, and I really like the logos as well. Um, it's a well-presented model, to say the least. The driver's side is also really nice. Uh, I can see they've got, similar to the Blue Star and a couple of others, they have a middle side destination, which is nice. Um, it's a rather nice advert, actually. One full bus can take 75 cars off the road. It's campaigning for people to use public transport, which is a good campaign. Uh, the wheels are really nice as well, actually. Um, I haven't been so keen on the last few wheels they've produced for the stagecoach models. So I'm really glad to see some more shiny looking metallic wheels actually, rather than this weird looking sort of plastic grey. It makes it look less realistic, so uh, I'm really happy with that. A really nice uh, touch is the rear lights. I really like how they're texturing all the rear lights differently of these models. And they've done a really nice, uh, they've done something really nice for this one. They've kind of got this sort of LED look. Uh, I think it looks really nice. Um, it's interesting how they also, they don't, um, they have the a full rear destination display. So we can see how all of these MMCs differ in terms of the looks uh, and where the destination is placed. And I think it's really nice, quite frankly. Um, note the advert, uh, the rear advert as well is uh, a different colour at the rear by the engine cover. So that's nice as well. Taking a look at the more minor details, we can see the number plate, HW67AHY, the Southern Vectis logo, uh, and the destination display. Uh, taking a look at the side, all the standard details, free USB power on board, uh, the destination display obviously, and the fleet number. You can see the wheels, and of course the grills, uh, really nicely done. Uh, as I mentioned, the nicely textured light, rear lights, uh, the rear advert, and of course the rear exhaust, free USB power on board. Uh, as I mentioned, the rear advert, uh, the side advert is very nice actually, um, really nicely textured. Um, I'm really a big fan of the colour scheme actually. I like the kind of darker green and the lighter green. Um, it's certainly very suitable for the vehicle. Uh, yeah, really impressive. I really like the look of this model, um, to say the least. The only thing I would say um, is that the mirrors, this, or at least this one's mirrors, are positioned slightly awkwardly, uh, and they don't appear to be easy to reposition without breaking them off. So that's just one thing to note. But apart from that, really good, I think. Great work from Northcord. So overall, I think this model is a great representation of the vehicle it represents. Uh, it's really accurate, really nice looking, and I think it would make a great addition to any collection. Uh, it, the price is about £45, depending on which retailer you go to, but the retail price is £60. Um, it's a really good model, definitely worth getting. Um, big thumbs up from me. Anyway, thanks very much for watching this video. Uh, we've got a lot of new releases uh, in terms of MMCs. In case you haven't seen, I did post to the community tab, but North could have announced not only that they'll be doing more MMCs, not only that they'll be doing open top ALX 400s, more of them, but that they're actually working on a new casting of an Enviro 400H City. Uh, that will come out in about a year's time. We'll, we'll hear more from that. Anyway, really exciting, uh, but I'll catch you in the next video and bye for now.